Put that man down, man. I see you more on LinkedIn, bro. Dining services to put together the food and the hot chocolate. So thank you all for all that you do, and also thank you all for being here today with us. Um, it is such a wonderful uh, experience to be back as an alum, but also as an employee of the college to see the growth and progression of Christmas at the Mount, and to see how great it has turned out this year. Um, it has been such a wonderful journey, leaving and coming back and seeing that this is still a great tradition that everyone loves to be a part of. Um, I would also um, like to say we're welcoming everyone to have a little holiday cheer on our campus and we hope that you enjoy the event that we have put together for you today. So I'm going to now introduce Connor Reedy. Uh, he is the Director of Mission and Ministries who will offer an opening prayer and a blessing for the tree. Thank you, Connor. Mm -hmm. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Blessed are you, creator of the universe, who enriches our lives with the beauty of the world. In this season of reflection and anticipation, we come together to bless this tree, a symbol of joy, and of hope, and of peace. Lord, we ask for your blessing upon this tree. May its light be a reminder of the light that shines in every heart. May its branches remind us of the interconnectedness of all living things. May its evergreen nature symbolize the enduring spirit of life and hope. Bless this tree, Lord, and all who gather around it. May our hearts be filled with peace and our homes with warmth. So let us pray. Spirit of life and love, we are grateful to, for the beauty of nature and the fellowship of one another. Bless us and help us to remember the deeper meanings of this season. May we carry its message of peace and hope into the world. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Connor, for that blessing. I will now introduce the sixth president of the College of Mount St. Vincent, Dr. Susan Burns, who will offer her remarks. I can tell my choir fans, right? right? Greetings, Mount community, and Merry Christmas at the Mount. It is so great to see so many of you gathered here this evening. And although it's a little bit chilly, we have a beautiful evening for a tremendous, get it, tremendous celebration. 
I'm glad that we're able to join together for a memorable evening of carols and blessings. Now, I don't think it's a secret anymore that Christmas is my favorite holiday. However, I truly believe that it's important for us to take time out of our busy schedules and remember why we celebrate the Christmas holiday. As Catholics and Christians, we celebrate the anniversary of the birth of our Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. The Advent season begins this Sunday and marks a period of great expectation and waiting, a time where we know faith and virtue will prevail. The most wonderful time of the year also marks the end of another successful semester. I would like all the students here today to know that I am proud, so, so very proud of each and every one of you and all that you have accomplished both within and beyond the classroom this semester. But the semester is not over quite yet. You still need to study for your finals. Please make sure you study for your finals. But I'm glad that you took time out this evening to revel in one of the Mount's most long-standing traditions tonight. And don't forget to get study, 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 and study again. Finish your semester strong. And to all of my colleagues who are here this evening, who support these students throughout their journeys, thank you so very much for your dedication and enthusiasm. Our mission at the college calls us to be stewards of humanity as we live our lives in the spirits instilled in us by the Sisters of Charity of New York, our foundresses, over 175 years ago. The Vincentian Setonian tradition that roots our institution in human dignity, too, encourages us to recognize the full appreciation of our obligations to each, us, each of us brothers and sisters in Christ, who is born to us this Christmas season. Gathering with you all this evening as we shine a light on what is set to be a symbol of hope in the darkness is one of my favorite traditions we share together here at the Right Place on the River. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you will join us in Hudson Heights after the event tonight for a festival holiday meal. I wish you and all of your loved ones a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Dr. Burns, for your remark. It is now, I'd like to welcome the choir to join us on stage. It is now time to light the tree. Once the tree is lit, please enjoy a performance by the CMSC Community Choir. At this time, if you will all call up, I would like to call up Sister Donna Dodge, President Burns, and Vinny to light the tree. Vinny! I'm going to start a countdown. <laughs> Alright, we're going to all count down together, so please join me. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Now please join or enjoy a selection by the community choir.